Okay, last lecture we have seen intermediate value theorem, Rolle's theorem, and some of the problems on Rolle's theorem. Let us move and learn few more theorems. Today, <clears throat> the next theorem is theorem. I think the number is eight. Lagrange's mean value theorem. Okay, let me write down the statement. I give you some time for writing the proof. A function f with domain. It's one continuous over a comma b to differentiable over a comma b to open interval. Then <clears throat> three there exists C belonging to A comma B. There exists C belonging to A comma B such that F of A minus F of upon a minus b is equal to f dash of c. Okay. Geometrically, let me explain you the meaning of this theorem. You have a here, you have b, and suppose you have go like this not necessarily it starts from a something like this okay so this is going to be b comma f of b this is a comma f of a All right so left hand side of the final expression in this theorem is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. That is slope of this step, slope of this chord. Chord joining endpoints of this curve. Ha. It is slope of this chord. LHS is slope. What is RHS? There exists C somewhere between open interval A and B, there will exist C such that somewhere you have tangent, yes, which is parallel to this chord, and maybe this point is yours. Okay. Something like this. This is your C. That is the meaning of this. So I give you time to deal with this theorem. Try to write down complete correct proof. Maybe after five minutes we we'll discuss it. Proof. Now, consider g of x is equal to f of x 
प्लस कैपिटल ए कांस्टेंट टाइम्स एक्स ओके नाउ आई स्टॉप एट दिस पॉइंट यू कंसीडर दिस एंड प्रोसीड विथ योर प्रूफ लेट मी सी इफ एवरी वन ऑफ यू कैन कंप्लीट इट आउट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप एंड यू कुड गेट दिस स्टेप बाय बैकवर्ड कैलकुलेशन बट नाउ आई एम गिविंग इट टू यू यू कंप्लीट द प्रूफ we have to use rolle's theorem for g of x first of all is g of x continuous yes because f of x is continuous x is continuous a is constant is g of x differentiable yes because f of x is differentiable a of x is also differentiable therefore g of x note g of x is continuous over closed interval a comma b and g of x is differentiable over open interval a comma we need to find a such that g of a should be equal to g of b and apply rolle's theorem so g of a is equal to f of a plus a a g of b is equal to f of b plus a b बरोबर है and we want this to be equal this implies a of a is a of a plus a a is equal to f of b plus a b this implies f of b minus f of a is equal to f of b minus f of a is equal to minus a inside bracket b minus a therefore this implies b minus f of a upon b minus a is equal to opposite of a right therefore our function g of x is equal to f of a f of b minus f of a upon b minus a minus a nahi kya likh rahe hain g of x is equal to f of x minus f of b minus f of a upon b minus a times x therefore g dash of x is equal to g dash of x minus f of b minus f of a upon b minus a and by rolle's theorem <coughs> there exists c belonging to open interval a comma b such that g dash of c is equal to 0 hence g dash of c is equal to 0 is equal to 
f dash of c minus f of b minus f of a con b minus a implies f of b minus f of a upon b minus a is equal to f dash of c. That is how Lagrange's mean value theorem is and very useful, very important. So many problems on this theorem. If the function is continuous and differentiable, then there exists point C such that tangent at C has slope equal to slope of core joining endpoints. Okay, now let me give you one more theorem which is still bigger than this. Next, Cauchy's mean value here. This is nine. Let with domain such that one F comma G are continuous over A comma B two. Three, g dash of x is not equal to zero in a comma b. For any point, x belonging to Okay. Then, for there exists C belonging to then there exists C belonging to such that Okay. I wait now. This is bigger theorem compared to LMBT, more general, bigger means more general theorem. 
proof. Let or consider f of x is equal to f of x plus capital A times g of x. Again, Note y of x is continuous over a comma b and is is differentiable over a comma. For Rolle's theorem, we require pi of A to be equal to pi of B. Pi of A is equal to f of A plus a times g of a pi of b is equal to f of b minus plus a times g of b so now directly this minus this f of b minus f of a plus a times g of b minus g of a is equal to zero. Therefore, opposite of a is equal to Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. So is the screen sharing paused? Is it? You can see what you're writing. I was not able to see the board. Yes, I will redo it. Okay. Now check. No, sir. It's still showing that so both page has started the screen sharing, but I'm not able to see the screen. You log out and log in again. Okay, sir. Okay, therefore, I of X is equal to F of X plus or minus F of B minus F of A on g of b minus g of a times g of x. So phi dash x is equal to f dash of x minus f of b minus f of a upon g of b minus g of a into g dash of x. By rules theorem, there exists C belonging to open interval a comma b such that by dash of C is equal to zero. Therefore, phi dash of c is equal to zero is equal to f dash of c minus f of b f of a 
upon g of b minus g of a into t dash at c implies f of b minus f of a upon g of b This is Cauchy's mean value theorem. Now, uh, will I be able to show you geometrically where that point C is, is going to be difficult because it is the ratio of two functions, f of b minus f of a upon g of b minus g of a. So, this is just algebraically correct proof and there will, therefore there will exist C. In LMVT, Lagrange's mean value theorem, LMVT, that is abbreviated as LMVT. Many a times you will use LMVT, that means Lagrange's mean value theorem. In LMVT, it was quite visible that the slopes are equal. However, in CMVT, visualization is rather difficult. So this is CMVT and earlier was LMVT. Okay, let me know the moment you complete the proof. Aryan, are you able to see now? Yes, sir. Okay. Dalai, you sir? Okay, now, <clears throat> see, this, we are, this identity is going to be very useful to us. f of b minus f of a upon g of b minus g of a is equal to f dash of c upon g dash of c. This identity is going to be very useful to us in proving L'Hopital theorem. Because f of b minus f of a upon b minus a upon b minus a upon g of b minus g of a, this is something looking like limit. This is something looking like ratio of derivatives of the, if we take limit of both sides, then it is looking like L'Hopital and therefore CMVT is going to be very useful to us in proving L'Hopital, which we will prove next lecture. Okay. So we have some problems. We solved two problems that day where they were applications of Rolle's theorem. So we will solve few more problems where we might use Rolle's theorem and maybe some additional theorems. Okay, so next job is to solve problems. Let me make it a little horizontal. The number of values of A. For which the equation X cube minus three X plus a is equal to zero has two distinct real roots. Lying in the interval zero comma one are two
we are supposed to number of values of a for which this equation has two distinct roots lying in the interval 0 comma 1. Two distinct roots between 0 to 1. So let alpha comma beta be distinct roots. such that 0 is less than alpha is less than beta is less than 1. Okay. So, f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x plus a. Mm -hmm. This implies f of alpha which is equal to 0 is equal to a Correct. F of beta is equal to 0 is equal to A. So they are equal, they are for Virol's theorem. Right. There exists C belonging to 0, 1 such that nine. There exists C belonging to alpha comma beta such that f dash of C is equal to 0. So f dash of x is equal to 3 x square minus 3 which is equal to 3 inside bracket x minus 1 x plus 1. So F dash of C is equal to 0 implies X is equal to 1 or X is equal to minus 1. Okay. But plus 1 or minus 1 does not belong to 0, 1. Hence, no solution, no value of A will give two distinct STI roots between 0, 1. Baga Pateka, so option is C. Any doubt, difficulty, question? Next question. If the equation A0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a n is equal to 0 has at least one root. In 0, 1 then a a0 upon n plus 1 plus a1 upon n plus a2 upon n minus 1 plus dot 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 a n minus 1 upon 2 plus a0 is equal to 0 b is equal to minus 1 same quantity c in quantity is equal to plus one say D none of these 
is open. There is a flaw in this question, but suppose we ignore that flaw, then what should be the answer? The answer should be A. Now, consider function A0 x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus A1 x raised to n upon n plus dot 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 plus A n x plus d is equal to 0. Okay, suppose this is f of x. Then f of 0 is equal to d and this is d. If we want f of 1 to be equal to d, then statement 1 must be true. Everything after putting x is equal to 1, everything here will become, Are this, this should not be a0, this should be a. Huh? Aha. Mistake. That is why I was thinking why these guys are getting different answer. I read it also twice, but still I could not recollect. Think. So statement A, if A is true, then this is true, and then Rolle's theorem is applicable. However, okay, so therefore. As per a designer, answer is A. But the flaw is, flaw in the question itself is that we are trying to fabricate converse of rules. Okay. Which is not true. So basically, if, I, if you allow me to change the question, then I would do it like this. Uh, I will remove this if and make this D capital, the equation so and so has at least one root in 0 comma 1 if okay so this if condition is like this, then yes, it has. But if the equation has at least one root in 0, 1, then this is false. It is not correct. You understand the difference between these two. First condition is, first condition has to be condition for Rolle's theorem. And then second condition that is after then, you will have f dash of c equal to 0. You cannot reverse that. I mean, writing statement of converse of rules also, it's, it is going to be a problem. And if we can write, then there will be counter examples. Therefore, you have to be alert. It's a rules theorem application, but wrongly used. So maybe this is correct because I'm putting if for these conditions then there will exist at least one root between zero and one. Samastai. Next. Question number. Are you? Are you? Question number four. Hmm. No, five. Let f of x is equal to 
x minus 4 x minus 5 x minus 6 x minus 7 then a f dash of a is equal to 0 has 4 roots v at least 3 roots of f dash of x is equal to 0 lie in 4 comma 5 union 5 comma 6 union 6 comma 7 c equation f dash of x is equal to 0 has only one root and D at least three roots of f dash of x is equal to zero lie in three comma four union four comma five union five comma six okay solve okay answer for this is b easy because at x is equal to 4, it is 0, f of x is 0, 5 is 0, 6 is 0, 7 is 0. Therefore, we will have at least 3 roots, one in between this, here one and here, using rules theorem. Question 6. Sir. Yes. Sir, we can uh, draw the sign scheme for the f of x function and then also we can directly get the answer without using rules theorem. Yes. Correct. But if you have to use it, then we will use it. If rules theorem is applicable, to the function f f of x is equal to a x square plus b if mod x is less than 1 is 1 if mod x is equal to 1 and lambda upon mod x if mod x is greater than 1 for x belonging to minus 2 to 2 then find relation between a, b and lambda with RHS equal to 0 so that all your answers will be consistent. Okay, so this function is given to be good for rules theorem. That means, that means it is continuous and differentiable. As far as if you look at this function, then it will be continuous. So we need to check for 1, 1 plus 1 minus continuity as well as differentiable. 
let us do it if it is continuous so limit limit f of x at x tends to 1 minus will be equal to limit f of x as x tends to 1 plus should be equal to value of the function at 1 which is equal to 1 okay so what condition you are getting you will get a plus b if x is equal to 1 so implies a plus b is equal to 1 and is equal to lambda which is equal to 1 this is because of continuity and because of differentiability what you will get a dash at 1 minus should be equal to f dash at 1 plus so what is f dash at 1 minus which is 2a x 2a x should be equal to what is f dash at 1 plus another lambda Rona implies two mm, a is equal to lambda, which is one, or two a two a minus Hello. lambda is equal to one. Derivative is two a x when x is towards negative side. Therefore, minus 2aa is equal to 1 implies a is equal to 1 upon 2 with negative sign. And f dash of x at 1. Now, if you have to do this, you b is equal to 3 by 2. I hope it is clear. Question number 7. If twenty seven A plus nine B plus three C plus D is equal to zero, then the equation four AX cube plus 3bx square plus 2cx plus d equal to 0 has at least one real root. Line between option A zero and one option B one and option C zero and three option D none of these yet another simple answer is C for question seven and it is a standard I mean you can do this. This is given. So one of the requirements of rules theorem is satisfied by this and another by that way you have to consider the function. Okay, next. Black. Consider the function
the value of c which satisfies lmbt is okay so if lmbt is to be applied we have to find out f of b minus f of a upon b minus a so that value comes out to be equal to minus 7 okay f of minus 6 minus f of 6 upon minus 6 minus is equal to minus 7 and this should be a dash of c so a dash of it. c is going to be 16 x minus 7 16 c minus 7 and you want this to be minus 7 therefore c must be equal to 0 that was rather easy next question question 9 Let f of x and g of x be differentiable. Such that f of zero is equal to two. g of 0 is equal to 1 and f of 2 is equal to 8 let there exist c belonging to zero comma 2 such that A dash of C is equal to three times G dash of C. Then G of two equals. Very easy. The answer is three. I mean, it is just the application of your LMVT, JCMVT. Okay, last question. Question ten. If f dash of x is equal to one upon one plus x square for every x belonging to my domain is less than one, right? For every x, note f dash of x. Is greater than zero It implies f of x is differentiable and hence continuous over zero comma two. Continuous over zero comma two, differentiable over 
ओपन इंटरवल जीरो पॉइंट वन टू ओके देर फॉर एल एम बी टी इज एप्लीकेबल एल एम बी टी सेज एफ ऑफ टू माइनस एफ ऑफ जीरो अपॉन टू इज इक्वल टू एफ डैश ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वन प्लस सी स्क्वेर करेक्ट एंड सी विल बी बिटवीन जीरो टू टू वाई टू जीरो इट इज गिवन देर फोर वी हेव सिलेक्टेड जीरो एंड वाई टू बिकॉज आंसर इज इन एफ ऑफ टू सो वी आर सिलेक्टिंग दिस so maybe we can write for every x belonging to 0 comma 2 here okay so what is this this is f of 2 upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus c square implies f of 2 is equal to 2 upon 1 plus c square and c will vary from 0 to 2 so if c is 0 f of 2 It will never be zero. So if we put c is equal to zero here, we get two. So it will be less than two. And if we put c is equal to two here, we get two by five. Therefore, option c is correct. Understood? Good. So tomorrow we. Not tomorrow. Thursday we do. Lopido. Any doubts, difficulties, questions?